Today, I bought a new notebook, which is probably not surprising to anyone who's ever met me, because generally, I am obsessed with stationery. What is surprising, though, is that I started a new notebook only two weeks ago, and am now at the point where I need to start a new one. As you can see from the old notebook, from the snazzy label, um, this is the first book of notes for the new project, which is titled Belief, Behaviour and Belonging. I like to title projects right from the beginning because it gives me a sense of the whole. Um, I know other people don't really like doing that, but I guess that's horses for courses. Um, so I want to talk in this video a little bit about what led to the beginning of note taking, um, which starts with this. It's the research plan for my new big project. When I started putting it together, I did it in much the same way that I'd put together my PhD proposal. I thought about the topic, I thought about how cases, or case studies or you know, smaller units might fit together into one big project. And then I realised actually there was one big difference with this project and that is outcome. The main outcome for a PhD is the PhD. But when I sat down and thought about what the practical outcomes for this project would have to be, I was thinking in terms of several published outputs, which are refable, um, ways that I can make this research into 10 or 20 week interesting, engaging, research-led teaching modules that also fit into wider ancient history programs and I also wanted to fit some kind of public engagement project in because I think that that's something that in ancient history in particular we're not necessarily doing as well as we can. Um, I think we need to take a bit of a lead from more traditional classics, classical studies, style, engagement, um, and go forward on that. So where to start? Where to begin a project? Obviously with an idea I jotted down some general notes about what I thought this project was about um, and how I got to that point. I also then drew out a map of how this project fits in with the research that I did for my PhD, um, which was quite micro level, talking about individual divinities um, and really small individual cult practices, whereas the new project really is about the place of religion in the city as a whole. Um, so a much more macro level view of the subfield. Um, so the first thing that I did was, after making those notes, was read a lot. And this is my sort of first big tip, I suppose, for anybody putting together a big project. Review articles are your friend. So um, a review article generally will be an extended review of several works, usually monographs um, or edited collections. But really they're more about giving you a general state of play of a subfield, um, which can be really very useful even if you already have knowledge of that area. I'd kept up to date with scholarship, new scholarship coming out in um, about Greek religion and I sort of knew where the trends, um, methodological trends and also subject trends were kind of heading but it's interesting and useful to be able to read somebody else's thoughts about how those new trends fit together. Um, and it can really clarify your thinking. 
So I really recommend review articles at the beginning of a project. Um, so then I really started fleshing out what I thought this project was. And I didn't want to think about, like, where's the gap and how can I fill that gap? But I wanted to think about how can I take these, what I've identified as two really good bodies of scholarship, one on civic religion and one on personal religion, and knit them together to look at the way that religion functions in the city as a whole and to sort of use the term that we use, how religion is embedded in the city. Um, I'm not going to talk actually about the project um, in this video, but I will at a later point. And then I thought I need to begin and I need to start somewhere. So that brings me back to the notebook. Um, and I sort of went on from there. Um, I'm going to talk in another video about the way that I put my notebook together. Um, and I'm really interested in the way that you guys put your notebooks together. So please send me pictures of your notebooks, the insides of your notebooks and how you make research happen. Um, so you can see that I actually write in a very particular way in columns um, and you know I break up my text in a very specific way and at this stage of research I actually write out a lot of direct quotes so you can see this is a direct quote and then this and moving on from there is sort of what I think about the quote what's been said and how I feel that it knits in to other parts of my thinking, my work, and also the scholarship as a whole. Um, and then I put together a pilot study. So that's what I'm working on at the moment, which is an object and experience centered study of the Panathenaea using the Panathenaic, the Greater Panathenaic Festival and the Parthenon Frieze as an object starting point. Um, leave it there for today. Um, please subscribe to my channel so that you get updates. Um, I'll be updating about every two weeks um, to begin with. Please send me pictures of your notebooks. I'm really, really interested um, and I really want to talk about the way that handwriting and research note taking and note journals, research journals can help people work. So send me your pictures, send me pictures of your notebooks and also tell me about your process, your notebook process. Uh, you can either tweet me at Ellie Mackin um, or you can get me uh, through my blog which is elliemackin.net. I'll put the links below and I will see you soon. Bye!